Here we've got uh, fitment parts trying out. Uh, this is plastic, so this has been 3D printed. Uh, so is that. That's a new one. Uh, 3D printed. They are not, I suppose, what they call uh, fully infilled, so they're only got 30% basically structure to them. They're not 100% infilled. So that's the old one where it had busted off running inside the track there. Um, as you can notice, I've busted off this little tab already, but that's okay. We know everything fits. And I as well had busted off that riser piece on the back, but uh, for fairly rough printed parts seeing if all of this works it's actually quite good so you know if we go to the uh, it's, the car's not running but we're going to try the buttons here and see what happens oh what have I done oh it's still in manual that's why okay let's try now Working. Oh. Oh, oh, ladies and gentlemen, we have working sunroof parts coming to a Jag near you. The plan would be actually is to have maybe this done in stainless steel and as well do that uh, driver arm in stainless steel there, um, just so that, uh, you know, you got uh, a lot of structure there um, in case things happen. I noticed these things can be quite brittle on the back. That's for the back of your uh, sunroof uh, pan on the inside goes, the, the part that doesn't tilt up. That's kind of the, the mating part there, and it, it clips in on those two clips that were uh, sitting in there, so... When this is up here, for example, this is another printed part, as we can see, just a rough one. Um, that panel clips in, the top edge goes down into there, and the back edge just snaps into there, and that's what holds it in place, and it moves along with the sunroof nice and fluently. Um, so yeah, there we are. We've got progress, folks.